High traders S&P 500 gained another 0.23% last week. The momentum is weakening, but this is not a sign of a pullback, but only a slight rest and a wait to the open of the quarterly earnings season. The quarterly growth has been hit by sectors such as airlines and insurance companies due to the recent storms, but expected to remain positive at 7.1% annual growth compared to 12% of the last quarter. In the past two months, market volatility has its historic low. That makes trading very, very hard. The end of the year's trading season and the reporting season is supposed to restore volatility. What several key companies which will report this week, Netflix, Johnson & Johnson, IBM, Goldman Sachs, General Electric, Procter & Gable, supposed to be an interesting week. Let's take a technical view of the market. When we look at the S&P 500, we can clearly see the trend, the same trend I've been speaking of in the past few weeks or the past few months. So we're still following the trend. And look at the nice consolidation near the highs. The S&P is consolidating near the highs, moved up a little bit but in, the last, in the past week, but still is resting before, probably before, technically speaking, before a big move. So S&P looks great for some more upside continuation. Let's take a look at last week's picks. Last week we had Boeing, Boeing for long. Boeing did trigger and moved up nicely by 1.7%. However, not enough for my first target, which is always at 3%. Now, Boeing is still at risk. Stop loss will remain at 3%, but it's trending higher. It looks great and hopefully it will continue this week. My second pick last week was WDAY. WDAY did not trigger. However, it came down a little bit and now it's returning to the highs. In fact, WDAY looks even better now. It is my main candidate for this week. So if WDAY is going to trigger that week, I'll be very, very happy to go long. Let's have another two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is Q long. Q is trending higher very, very nicely. And we have a very, very nice whole number breakout at $100. There's usually a lot of sellers at whole numbers and Q really looks very nice. Q is an information technology company in the health care sector, servicing a lot of organizations and governments all around the world. And it really looks good for some more upside continuation. My second pick is YY Long, and again, a whole number breakout over $94. YY is a technology company that operates a live streaming platform in China, enabling live chat, education, and video. And if you really want to take a good look at YY, take a look at the weekly, because the weekly of YY looks even much better than the daily. So YY Long is my second pick for the week. I wish you a great trading week, and see you next week. Traders, if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click in this corner in order to learn more about my funded accounts program. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. Over here, you can find some of my best live trading videos. And please, if you have any questions, let's have a discussion in the comments below.